According to the Journal of Nutrition, there are around 90,000 dietary supplement products on US store shelves, making up a $30 billion industry. The products are marketed with bold health claims such as reducing heart disease risk, supporting the immune system, or improving muscle function. But do supplements really help us, or do they hurt us? Supplements come in all forms, such as pills, capsules, liquids and tablets. There are several types of dietary supplement, ranging from vitamins, fiber, minerals, to amino and fatty acids. The CRN Consumer Survey in 2019 found that vitamins and minerals are the most commonly consumed supplements. 76% of adult Americans have been taking vitamin and mineral supplements. There are very few reliable and conclusive studies related to the drastic benefits of taking supplements. These supplements can bring about minimal improvements, but there is one problem regarding the dosage of nutrients. Although some substances can be beneficial in small quantities, they can turn poisonous at a higher dosage. Researchers at the Tufts University have found that nutrients from food are associated with living longer but the same can't be said for vitamin supplements. The researchers analyzed data on more than 27,000 adults in the US to evaluate the link between dietary supplements and mortality. The research found that getting too much calcium from supplements, defined as at least 1,000 milligrams a day, increases the risk of dying from cancer. But that risk doesn't exist if that much calcium comes from food. Recent research in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute linked excessive beta-carotene intake through supplements with a higher risk of lung cancer and heart disease. Another study in 2008 says that a higher dosage of vitamin C can link to acute renal failure. So, are we ready to send all supplements to the trash? Well, not quite yet. Dr. Thunder Jalili Professor in Nutrition and Integrative Physiology, University of Utah, suggests that there may be two supplements worth taking, fish oil and vitamin D. Early research from 2014 suggests that omega-3 in fish oil supplements has minimal impact, if any, to reduce a person's risk of cardiovascular diseases. As for vitamin D, its levels usually drop as people age. So, it is suggested that older patients may take a supplement. No serious adverse effects has been found on either of these supplements. Bear in mind that you are taking these pills with low risk and minimal benefits. No magic pill will completely fix the unhealthy effects of a bad diet. Dr. Fang Fang Jean from the Tufts University School of Nutrition Science and Policy advised that if you are healthy, you probably don't need supplements. But if you are a patient diagnosed as deficient in a certain nutrient, continue taking dietary supplements under the instructions from your doctor. The bottom line is that most vitamins and minerals should be absorbed through foods that are good for you. Factor in the cost of most of dietary supplements before taking them, since the beneficial effects are minimal.